Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 of The Beasts Inside. Let's go ahead and jump right in. If you remember in the last episode, it got very creepy. And I may have made some noises I'm not proud of. But anyway, we are here again in part 3 to face our fears and see where this story takes us. We're going to show this journal to my wife who was taking a shower. And, um, yeah, let's find out where she is. <laughs> Honey, there you are. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma, can you hear me? Oh, Emma! No. Oh, no. I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. <laughs> where have you been? Upstairs? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary, w what? A fuse must have blown. Bea, darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. No. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? You moved in today. You just moved. You're tired. You drove all the way out here. Come on, give my guy a break. I don't want to go to the basement. That's where the scary What's stuff her happened. She sounded like I took a piss in a mother flower bed. Oh, did you? Ah, uh, yep, yeah, power's out. Sorry. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the Ugh. basement. Maybe the I can find one of the attic. The There's attic. a lot of junk in there. Love how this is. Oh, this is open. But not really. Hmm. If you remember, there's a creepy guy in a top hat. Or like a writing hat. I guess it's a top hat. There's the white prisoner dude with dead eyes that's crawling all over and bleeding all over the place. Uh... I don't think there's anything else. Can't open that. If I was a flashlight, where would I be? Ah, some jerry cans. Empty. Oh, goody. A super old one. We are. I'm not afraid of no ghost. Ooh. I was about to say that mess up. Please don't be something there. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> it's the horse. <laughs> it got me too earlier. <clears throat> Glad I'm not the only one scared by that stupid horse. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. I take that first aid kit? Nope. How about this rusty, rusty pipe wrench? Ooh. Propane, kerosene, chairs. There's that clock that was upstairs. It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. Doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. That's the dad's desk? From upstairs in the office? I bet it's chiming has startled many people. Yes. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. I Where are the fuses? Let's say I don't remember any electricity in this house. But then again, I think it was like the 1800s. Ah, yes. It's been bricked up. There's a key. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? The sh key to the shed of the house looks very fragile. Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Okay, well let's go look. We know where that is. That's where we first encountered the guy and he was behind me. I don't care what y'all say. He was behind me. Shed. Do I have to go into the forest to get around, I guess? Yes. Well, this looks totally different than it used to. This doesn't look like it's taken care of at all. It's locked. Oh, okay. It's not locked. Damn. There are no fuses here. Of Couple course. light bulbs. What the f... Is that blood? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> what is this? A 
shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Biz. Same name, same classic taste. Why was... would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Quantum localizer. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Localizer can detect and analyze so-called quantum traces, which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past. Well, that's cool. But creepy. Can we use it on this? Um, can we use it, please? It's just an old-timey camera. What do you want me to do? Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. It's not Emma. Emma. Honey? Nope. Oh. oh. Active time events. Sweet. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Uh, Wait, what did they say in training? To equip and unequip the device, localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Informs you that a cloud is near. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who was here in a different time. That... That is a stretch. I should follow the localizer. And this Green lines at the edge not... of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. This seems this is the place. such a stretch. I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. The signal must be coming from this oh. place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. Scan the cloud. I have to find out what happened here. Okay. This game took a very weird turn that I wasn't prepared for. The fuse is missing, some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. Well, on the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. We're going this way now. Oh. Over this way. I'm not seeing these green lines. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible. Otherwise, I won't see a thing. Gotta be that. That's source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. What's the anomaly? Clouds will be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you'll have to destroy them. Find the anomalies within your surrounding. You can make it easier by using the right now. To destroy an anomaly, hit it with an EMP charge fire from the device. Hold left mouse. What? What? There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. That's the anomaly? That should do it. I'm to stabilize the cloud. After destroy all anomalies, return to the quantum cloud. I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. What rope? Oh. With this, I can reach much further than my hands can. Very useful in the field. Okay.
The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. I am not sure I fully understand this or why, and I'm sorry I went quiet there. I was just confused and trying to focus. Maybe there's an entrance to the mine. I guess this. <laughs> we went from creepy guy, you know, Russian bomber stuff. Where could it lead to? What other secrets does this place hide? Uh, is that where I'm supposed to go? I don't know. This is so weird. I'm just going way off. went up from here. Obviously. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, I guess I'm not getting that back. So much blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. The gate, yes. Now let me scan it. Clearly drag something heavy through that gate. <coughs> Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Okay. We can do that. about this? Some planks are yeah. loose. I'll try to break them out. No. <laughs> we use our hands. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 that board is bending. It is a very bendy board. Man. It's made of rubber. Come on. There we go sure why it was pulling from 50 feet back. Quit. Quit crouching. Get up there. A boat. What is going on? I mean, we don't want to go that way. We know that. That goes back around to where we were. I can't go this way. Because apparently a tree is impenetrable. So that leaves... This is where we came up. So we hop up. Is it the water? No, because it just puts it away. If I was a betting man, we're going to do the one thing we can do. The blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Okay. I was wrong. We do want to go that way. Oh. So this is like detective ghostbustery side, but the other side is the actual like horror scary side. Yeah, it's locked. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. I'm not sure why we're struggling with that one, buddy. Please don't pop out. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that a deer? Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I better check what the localizers detected before I go in. Okay. 
this way. What? Untie it. It's just rope. Looking for those swirly clouds? I guess? Hey, look. What? This is confusing. How did we get to Ghostbusters? Yeah, there's a boat. Okay, I have to admit. This side of the game is very weird. Come on, drag it. Get up there. Uh, now drag. Okay, now we push. Come on. Very nice. Yes. No, no, don't get stuck between those two. Come on, buddy. Perfect. Ah, I just broke the thing. I bonked it on the ground. Oh. There it is. I'm not seeing an anomaly. It says there's one. Oh, it's floating. Oh. There's another one over here. Okay. And then there's one. There. Okay, 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 okay. Who is he? What did he hide here? A knife. A hunting knife? Yeah. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a side entrance. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now it makes more sense with the anomalies. I think I understand how to read it now. I need so to try to get inside. I don't want to get inside. Come on. Not sure why it sounds like a little lasso going off. Whatever. But, yeah. So the anomalies are very weird. Grab it. There we go. Locked. There's nothing there. Okay, just making just making sure we're not missing anything. Because we're a detective on the hunt. It's a deer. There's nothing to worry about. It was just a deer. Yeah, see? Everything's fine. It's just God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. Wait, I... Wait, that beeping. <laughs> it's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Sure, bolt cutters. We have those in the old timey and the new timey. I mean, I've seen hunt... I mean, I haven't... I've never been hunting, but I thought hunters would gut the animals like that. String them up. To gut them. I need something to stand on. I know something you don't. How about the stepladder? That'd be uber convenient. Don't want to say how long it took me to figure this out. Because I fought with dragging those pieces of wood over there for so long. But I can just break this. Wow, look at that. I could use that crate to reach the ladder yeah. and climb up. Yeah, I could. Yeah, that is something I can do. And I struggled for a while. 
but whatever. We can get to the deer now and figure out what kind of bomb is in it or what have you. I will not be defeated by a deer carcass. I just made this so much harder on myself. I'm gonna move that. Move that. This is what I get for not fully exploring my surroundings before getting upset and just dragging random boards. Oh no. On the box, please. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Yay. <clears throat> that made a gross noise. Whatever. The deer. Poor deer. He deserved better. Now we're going to have to reach inside of him for the bomb. I thought he was about to reach in with a fist, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Oh, this is sick. Oh, I think I'm going to puke. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Missed that first quick time event. So I don't think it's timed. I think I just had to hit it before it turns red. I think. Ah, yes, the fuse. Cool. What's all this equipment? The equipment. Why was it in? Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Rotate. There's the fuse. So the fucker who got at the animals so also it been in our purpose, house. Why? In our basement. And what is the if crashing? this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. Whoa, this door wasn't open. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer, and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Yeah. Yeah, what did you expect? This is a horror game. It kind of goes along with the horror theme. I kind of miss... remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I yeah. just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. I kind of miss the... I'm going to call it the day and the night. Like, this is all in the daytime. The English dude's all in the night. So, I kind of miss the night. It was definitely more intense. This is more investigative, which, I mean, is neat, but... And this this was where that, that thing in the wall was. Well, let's put that in. You, I, I assume you'd have to clean that off a little bit. The power's back on, I guess. We just now gonna hmm, talk about interesting. this? Interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. No, well, there's my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? Wow, dude. It's too early to start talking like that. You shouldn't talk like that at all if your wife's pregnant. Boom! <laughs> Jesus, woman! <laughs> you want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? It's a cool hat. I wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Please turn into the dude. Oh, Clever. wow. You can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? <laughs> where do we start? Wow. Wow. Some time later. Box full of cash. That's funny. But what if it was true? That's right. Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Yeah, you shouldn't be painting. Still, the fumes are bad for you. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Yeah, you shouldn't be with those fumes. They're not good for you or the baby. Give me that. Paint the wall. <laughs> the objective of champions. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? No. And did you give them our new number? No. Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. <sighs> Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing Yay. something other than, you know, crypt analysis? 
if the slower I, mean, I go, you joined the CIA? like better paint what? coverage I like, get? Um, something that doesn't come with being huh. responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone. Um, get more paint really. on that roller, bro. Besides, I can trust you, right? Where'd she go? What oh. are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Well, how? You were just talking to me. How ADD are you that you just go look under a random piece of furniture while I'm talking? I did a good job on that wall. Let's go move this. There's a fireplace back there. Or a painting. A creepy painting. Oh, God. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. Why? He looks happy. I who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, he'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. Oh, that's a terrible I'd idea. I'll hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. Good. Nice frame. A few days later. Not just some time. Days. Doi, hello. Oh, Jesus. Father Jesus. The Jesus in a suit? I like my Jesus. Business Jesus. This is a longer chapter. Maybe because I got lost so often. Probably from the office. Where's the phone? Hello? Hello? Where the frick is the phone? The sound doesn't make sense. Oh, I just ran right by it. Ignore me. Hello? Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, <laughs> I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. What? Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress. He's been paranoid lately. Seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And... I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. We gotta crush, crack, not crush, crack those codes. And there goes my vacation. The <laughs> cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. Cipher machine? This is the office, right? That's alcohol. That's a clock. Or is that the cypher machine? I just threw it. Okay, yeah, no. This is the office, is it not? This is the living room. Locked. What does a cypher machine look like? Maybe this is the office? No. This is the office. Whoa! To learn about famous cryptanalysis from around the world, you have to know the basics of code breaking yourself. Can you decode all the names we have hidden here? Numbers correspond to individual people. 
Use Caesar's disc and get to know the great minds of cryptography that frequently challenge the course of history. Will you accept the challenge? Wow, that is time consuming. Are those little tarts? No. I thought it was food. Look at my fat ass. That's part of the cryptology code breaking machine. That thing was in, uh. Oh, still warm. Agent Carter. Like one of those devices. Emma knows how to get me on my feet. So, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look Open at the manual. Open the top cover by holding the handle on Open the right the side. Open the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Positions. One, two, one, four, two, five, three. Okay. For starters, I need to open the top cover. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Two, one. Four, two. Clipped out of the game. Five, three, eight, four. Five, three, eight, four. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. Close the cover. Set the numbers in the windows to the following positions from left to right. Two, fourteen, six, twenty-two. Two fourteen six twenty two two. Oh no. Fourteen six twenty two. Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. Open the bottom drawer of the device. Plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration: A F G Z R T. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. A. F. G. Z. R. P. E. That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. What's that? Run, run a test using the te the test. Wait, password, B P F L U P. B P F. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. B P F. L. U. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Woo! Jesus! That is an intense thing to set up. It'll be kind of a cool thing to have. Cryptography is so cool. It makes your brain hurt. Oh, we are going to keep doing this. Okay. Well, this episode's running a little long, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Uh, if I missed anything, or you like the game so far, and you want to think about checking it out yourself, let me know down in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Anyway, I will see y'all in the next one.